Let the other ones come. What is going on, guys? Philip here. Today, I got something that will answer a bunch of questions I've been getting, and that is what's the cheapest thermal scope out there that you recommend? And um, I've been testing this one out for three, four months. Uh, you know, throughout planting season, it's helped me a lot. Uh, a lot of these ranches that uh, have been getting hit a lot throughout the deer season when I couldn't been able, be able to go out there, was able to go out there with this and uh, really put this thermal to use. And guys, I'll keep it 100 with y'all. Um, you know, I've done a couple of these before and um, I, I still recommend those thermal optics, uh, but you know, more and more people are trying to get into this game and more and more people realize how expensive it can be. So um, not everyone needs a $5,000 optic. Uh, so I understand that. And that's why I'm willing to, you know, try, I want to try to run as many thermal optics as I can to help y'all out who wants to get into this game. And um, the one I have today is this guy. And it looks real familiar to a bunch of y'all. Uh, especially if you're in the night vision game, this is a Sight Mark Wrath Thermal. Um, they've been doing night vision for a long time, and they finally came out with a thermal. And guys, for two thousand dollars, I highly recommend it. This is the cheapest thermal scope I recommend. Um, I know a lot of guys out there are going to be hating on me for even saying this, just because how cheap it is. But guys, I've been running this for a while now and it can definitely get the job done. I'm not saying it's just as good as a $5,000 thermal now, but if you have just you know a couple thousand acres, couple hundred acres, or you're gonna go out just here and there, maybe with some buddies, or you want another buddy thermal, uh, just in case someone wants to tag along that don't have one, this is what I highly recommend. Um, Sightmark has definitely um, hit, hit that market for a lot of people that, are looking f to get in this game and for two thousand dollars i really can't i can't complain about this optic uh there is some cons of course but you know it's a two thousand dollar optic you know we're used to running five six thousand dollar optics so you know you kind of got to give it a little bit uh just for how cheap it is now it's still expensive two thousand dollars is a lot of money for a lot of people but guys if you really want to get in this game and you don't have a lot of money this is this is a bare minimum I would go. Um, <clears throat> if you want to skip to right to the all the footage, come right here, fast forward there, and you can see all the footage there. Uh, I'm gonna go over the specs real quick. Um, if you have, I'm not gonna go over everything. You can look online, uh, but like I said, I've I've got about 50 to 60 pigs down with this guy, and uh, it's really crazy how good this thing is for two thousand dollars. Now. Um, Real quick, this is a 384. This is lowest core I would go is a 384. Um, it it does really good. I've been using it. most of the as most of this footage you're gonna see is through like high humidity, so it does cut through that humidity pretty well. Um, the build real quick overall build. If you have the night vision wrath uh, wraith, whatever they call it. Uh, <laughs> That, that's how exactly it is. It's the same housing. It's thick, thick aluminum. There's no plastic on this. The only plastic is these uh, lens covers and uh, the top for the batteries. Um, so it's built very well. You can tell how small it is. It's super light. Um, just for a scanner, I mean, it is. look how small that is. Um, it is pretty heavy, but I like that in a thermal. It tells me a lot about it and how durable this thing can be. And uh, it can take a beating. Sightmark gave me this and said, put it to the test. And, and I put it on uh, 308, everything, and it has never gave me a hiccup. Um, some of the cons, real quick, I'm going to just go over the cons that I wish they could do. Maybe something different if it wouldn't cost that much. Uh, so these buttons right here, you can see these buttons. They're real, it's just a flat piece of flat piece of uh, rubber right here and at night I might think I'm hitting over here you know record or zoom and I'm not I'm hitting somewhere else and in daytime it's a lot easier but when it's on your setup and you're trying to go through it it could be a pain I wish it was four buttons across here uh, like a menu zoom plus you know whatever um, power on 
Uh, the nether thing is the reticle and it's not a big thing. You can change all the reticles. There's all different reticles, but the reticles to me, in my opinion, were super big. Like they're not, I'm not saying you can't get the job done. Obviously you're gonna watch the video and I'm, I'm definitely putting it to them, but I wish that reticle was a little bit smaller. You can still get out there 100, 200 yards and probably put something down. Um, but it's just, I wish it was a little bit thinner um, reticle. Uh, the other thing is, um, that's actually, that's about it. Uh, really, I wish, I wish these lens caps were a little bit, I, I'm going to probably break these within a couple months. I already know that, but that's, that's, I wish they were a little bit different. Other than that, that's about it. This got a nice throw lever for focus. Um, zoom, it goes for, so it's a two base magnification, goes all the way up to 12, I believe, 16. 16 uh, you won't ever use 16 I promise you time you get 16 no thermal looks that great so about two to four power all you'll need um, 384 I you'll see the footage there's some pigs out there at 200 yards that I can identify and you can definitely tell they're pigs I would say about 300 yards is about as far as you're gonna be able to identify something uh, depending on the train and everything like that but Two to three hundred yards. That would be where I would be identifying pigs, coyotes, etc. Uh, it does come with the mount. It comes with the QD mount, uh, pick rail. Uh, it's just a single slot. I wish it was a lever mount, but I'm not going to be picky. It's a two thousand dollar optic. Um, it does come with CR one two three. That's what the batteries are. CR one two threes, and a lot of people are going to hate on that, but. I'm telling you guys, if you're running any CR2, uh, CR123 batteries in anything, I used en uh, energizers for a long time. I got these Duracell lithium batteries. Guys, you can't beat them. I, uh, these, these actually, these right here have been in this optic for three hunts already and haven't yet to die. They're still at like 50%. Now, I do only turn it on when I see animals and I'll walk up to them and come out. Also, it has different color palettes. So for guys who want to run something besides white hot, black hot, it has the rainbow, it has that red hot. It has a green on green, it's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan, I just love black hot, white hot. Um, it's cool to see um, and it'd probably help you if you're really like, if your eyes get fatigued. I know black hot and white hot can really do that to your eyes. So it's a cool, uh, I wish almost kind of all thermals, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing that in a 640, see what that green on green looks like. But um, it has different color reticles, uh, just like any other thermal. It has onboard recording um, and uh, audio. It has, it takes an SD card. Uh, so that's really nice. You could put a big SD card in there and get all the footage you want to without getting you know go out in the field think you're about to get a really cool recording and all of a sudden it says memory full <laughs> so i've done that multiple times on a lot of scopes just forget to delete stuff but uh that's nice to have um but guys you're gonna see in this footage man it, it this thermal can put them down i'm not i'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go say it's better than a three four thousand dollar optic but for the guys who like i said who you know, maybe have a couple thousand acres, you know, who who just wants to go a couple times a year, this is what I recommend. Uh, Nugget Night Vision will have them in stock, so uh, go check them out. And for all your thermal needs, check those guys out. Casey, just message him. If you're in the market, just message him, and he will point you in the right direction. He's not biased on any products, any thermals. Um, what he has in stock is what he believes in, and uh, he'll point you in the right direction on, you know, the terrain, everything. He's going to ask you all those questions and put you in with the thermal that you'll need. So um, if y'all have any more questions about this, please, please go ahead and comment on the video. I'll answer all y'all's uh, comments like I always do. Um, but, you know, if you see real quick, corn, corn's getting high. Wheat is about to start turning, and they're gonna about to start uh, cutting that, and we'll be in the fields as soon as they start cutting it. Uh, coyotes will be all over that place, but we're gonna leave those coyotes alone, okay? We're gonna wait, 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 wait. But uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna hit those pigs pretty hard as soon as that wheat hits, and then uh, hopefully in July, August, they'll be cutting that corn, and we'll be after those guys. And uh, hopefully, I'll give y'all more footage with this uh, site mark. Y'all did a heck of a job. Um, 
I can't wait. Maybe, hopefully, a 640 is coming. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not telling y'all they are or not. I just, it would be nice to have a 640 that's this small. That's all I'm saying. Everyone record. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Get him. Three, two, one.